In sports today, Game 1 of the World Series is finally over, the NHL is getting hot and heavy, and the NBA season is underway. Here's Andy Redding with the details and the rest of your sports news. Thanks, Alex. The longest game in World Series history is in the books. The Kansas City Royals are in the finals for the second year in a row, while the New York Mets are looking for their first championship since 1986 and the famous Bachner incident. First pitch of the game, Alcides Escobar, the Blue Jay killer himself, gets the Fall Classic going with a Little League home run, the tenth ever inside the Parker and first since 1929. Royals up 1-0. Skipping ahead to the eighth now, Eric Hosmer does his own Billy Buckner impression as the ball scoots past his glove and a run scores for the Mets, putting them up by one. It's desperation time now for the Royals. Bottom of the ninth, one out for Alex Gordon and he takes one deep to straightaway center, sending this bad boy to extras. On to the 14th now, friend of the show, Big Bad Bartolo Colon on the mound, bases plump for the Royals, and the game ends in the most exciting way possible, a sack fly. Royals take this one and are now only three wins away from being crowned World Series champions. From the diamond to the elongated ice field oval now, Carey Price and the Habs take their nine game winning streak into Van City for a hot date with the Canucks. The game got out of hand quickly, however, with three quick Canuck goals, including two from McCann. Vancouver added two more to close it out as they took this one 5-1. Just like that, a nine-game winning streak becomes a one-game losing streak. Migrating south, the Ducks look to right the ship after starting out the season with only one win. Anaheim comes out hot, going up 3-0, but the Stars begin to take control of the vessel. After a quick goal from Patrick Sharp, he looks at the bench and says, We are the captains now. Just after that event, the Stars will go on to score three more, feeding the Ducks yet another loss. Stars take it 4-3. In the words of Marshall Mathers, a.k.a. Eminem, basketball's back, back again, Curry's back, tell a friend. Reigning MVP Steph the Chef Curry had the induction burners on high last night, picking up right where he left off last season. In the opening Corey, the curry was extra spicy, dropping 24 en route to a 40-point game. The Warriors went on to win this one, 111-95. Now with a look at what Mother Nature has in store, here's Dominic Loschiavo. Hurricane Patricia may not have hit Mexico full force, but Canada must be getting on her bad side. Today's forecast is set to be windy, with heavy amounts of rain barreling through the GTA. The high will be 15 degrees with a low of 11, and we may face 40 to 60 millimeters of rain. Thursday seems to be clearing up. We'll see some sun and clouds with a high of 10 and a low of 6. And Friday, the rain will make its return with a high of 9, and the low will be dipping to 1 degree. Stay warm, stay dry, stay classy. Back to you, Alex, in the newsroom. One way to escape the rain is to rise above it. If you thought the CN Tower was high, check out this walk, 320 kilometers into the sky. Two astronauts got their first taste of space this morning during a six and a half hour spacewalk. This is a career first for both astronauts who have bo both been orbiting the Earth since March. Today, they were upgrading the International Space Station by placing thermal blankets on crucial equipment. NASA television is streaming the walk live for the first time ever. We leave you today with this story. Hard to believe that there's a competition for this, but the world record for most pizzas being simultaneously tossed was broken at an event in China today. Hundreds of people gathered at the hotel in Shanghai to roll out the dough and put their serious pizza faces on. 511 pizzas flew through the air, breaking the previous Guinness record of 388. After the good pizza news was delivered, the pies were sold on the street to raise money for a local breast cancer charity. Now that's amore. That's all for today. For details of these stories and more, check out HumberNews.ca. Humber News is produced by the students in the journalism program at the North Campus. I'm Alex Drobin. Join us tomorrow for our next news update.